Hello Taurus, welcome to a bonus love reading. We're going to be looking at how your person is thinking or feeling about you and what are their true intentions towards you or next actions. As always, these readings are meant to be general, so take what resonates for you, what applies to you, and leave the rest. Also check out your other placements, your moon, your rising sign, or any other sign of significance. If you want additional messages, sometimes those can resonate more. All of the playlists for each sign are linked in the description box if you want to check them out. So let's jump right in. Spirits, angels, guides for Taurus, please. What do we need to know about how the person that Taurus is thinking about or connecting with? What are their energies, thoughts, intentions towards Taurus? What are they thinking, feeling? What are their energies towards Taurus at this time? Now, this reading will be for those of you that are in a connection or have someone in mind. All right, Taurus. What is their person thinking, feeling about Taurus? I'm confused. Okay, what are their person's thoughts, feelings? What are they thinking, feeling about Taurus? What are they thinking, feeling? You make me happy. What's at the bottom of the deck? Please forgive me. Okay, so... I feel like this person, um, they know that um, you make them happy or they feel very happy around you, maybe very positive. You're probably a positive influence in their life. But I think this confused is that they don't quite know where they stand or where your connection is headed. And it's possibly because there's something that happened that they need to be forgiven for or an apology or some sort of closure that needs to happen here. What else do we need to know, Spirit, for Taurus? What are the energies that this person is bringing to the connection with Taurus? What do we need to know, Spirit? By the way, these are all of my own Oracle decks. If you want to check them out, they're linked below. Um, there's going to be a few second editions of these decks coming out soon, so I'll be featuring them on the channel when they do come out going to be the secret moon oracle deck and the guidance deck all right what else what else do we need to know spirit what else do we need to know of this person's energies mirrored souls hidden motives okay can i get one more yeah there's something here um either this person can't for some reason they can't express how they feel towards you or they're high they've hidden something from you or there's like a uh, secrets or hidden motives tied to this despite the fact that this is a soulmate connection and I have mirrored souls with time out so I'm almost thinking of like divine timing here and then there's patiently waiting at the bottom of the deck so this could be that someone has been patiently waiting for you you've been patiently waiting for them but time is running out or someone needs to stop hiding it's kind of what I'm getting here What else do we need to know for Taurus? What are their person's thoughts, energies, feelings, intentions towards Taurus? What do we need to know for Taurus? What are their thoughts, feelings, intentions towards Taurus? What do we need to know? You are the only person for me. I will I am willing to do anything for us to be together so yeah so I feel like this person um, you are not with them um, I think you're not together I think that this person possibly caused a rift between you or there's something that happened where someone could have made a mistake here and affected the connection in a way where you're not together anymore um, this person I feel like they I, I'm getting a, an energy of someone that's almost like they refuse to be with anybody else or think of anyone else as their person. So let's get some more energies, please. Top row is gonna be what they're thinking, feeling about you, Taurus. Bottom row is gonna be their thoughts, not their thoughts, their intentions or next actions towards you. Messages, please, guidance for Taurus regarding this person that they are thinking about or connecting with at this time. What do we need to know? Okay, so let's see what we get for you. And what they're thinking or feeling about you, we have the Six of Swords, the Five of Cups, 
and the higher font reverse well there you are Taurus yeah definitely this person um they must have left this connection or you left the connection um with the six of swords and there's regrets tied to that disappointment pain um a loss with the five of cups and i think this was a commitment that was broken or a promise that was broken um maybe they just really messed with you taurus okay what are their next intentions or actions here we have the ten of cups okay the six of wands reverse and the tower hmm well this this is uh interesting <laughs> the tower with the ten of cups um and then the six of wands reverse tells me that there's delayed success here perhaps um what's at the bottom of the deck ace of swords reverse yeah there's something that needs to be said i don't think i don't think someone has been open or honest about how they feel or about their intentions how many more spirit more clarity please for taurus uh, I find it fascinating that their next actions are going to be the Tower and the Ten of Cups. I feel like this person is going to do something very unexpected, Taurus. So let's see what's going on here. Tell me about the Five of Cups. Why is the Five of Cups here? The Fool. Tell me about the Five of Cups. Tell me about the Five of Cups. Do we need to know? The Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, this person wants to turn things around. I feel like they, yeah, Six of Swords again at the bottom of the deck. Um, it's like they might want to return this person with this offer, this Knight of Pentacles. Um, have a do-over with the Fool. Start over a new beginning. I feel like with the Five of Cups and the Fool, I'm almost getting like this person just wants to like leave the past baggage behind and just move forward into a whole new cycle here tell me about the six of swords why is the six of swords here the three of swords yeah this departure was painful whatever happened between you and it could not it could be that you're still with this person but there's a huge rift between you big uh very very um like an emotional distance yeah and there's the five of pentacles so it could be that you physically separated um and it was very painful for both of you or at least one of you um or it could be that there's a huge emotional distance or rift between an existing connection um tell me about the higher font reverse why is the higher font reverse Why is the higher font reverse, please? Queen of Swords. Okay, so I feel like this is um, like the truth of something. Maybe there was some sort of um, realization that someone had about the other person's behavior, a conversation that um, was honest or some sort of truth uh, was discovered because Queen of Swords is kind of like the investigator or she gets to the bottom of things and nothing gets past her. It could be that someone decided, you decided perhaps Taurus because the higher font is here reverse. You decided to cut out this commitment or cut this commitment um, out of your life or something like that. Can I get one more for the higher font reverse? Or whatever truth or conversation this was ended a commitment or fractured a commitment. The Emperor, Aries energy. Ah, man, see, the Emperor and the, and the Queen of Swords, they're not emotional. They are more concerned about the outcome, the truth, structure, order. When I see them together, I think you don't want to mess with this person. Um, the, the emperor is a doer. So the emperor, they're focused on getting a, a project done, uh, a, a challenge meet that's overcome. They have like plans for that, or they take control, they take charge of the situation. And so I feel like this is probably somebody that took charge of the situation, got to the bottom of something, or took charge of a 
And, and this is what your person's thinking or feeling. So either they're viewing you as this person, the Emperor, the Queen of Swords, very hard to approach these two. You don't come to them with like BS. So, okay, so what I'm getting here, I'm starting to think that your person is trying to be an emperor. They are probably going to come forward and present themselves as an emperor energy. And maybe with the Queen of Swords, they'll be uh, very um, serious, open, honest um, about what they want to do. And this is after there's a broken commitment or fractured commitment. But the Ace of Swords is reversed at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like they, either this is them being actually honest with you about something or you need to watch out what they say. And I only say that because the Seven of Cups is at the bottom of the deck. Now this could be that I'm confused energy that we saw earlier. Someone that's trying to figure out what's the best approach. But this could also be that someone could choose the wrong cup. They might go about things the wrong way. So that's what they're thinking or feeling. I feel like they, they're thinking about the pain, the difficulty that has happened or the pain, the difficulty they're experiencing now because of what's happened. You know, the Three of Swords isn't, hasn't been easy for them, for you. Uh, but I feel like they want to have a do-over with the Fool. So let's look at their true intentions, next actions. Why is the Six of Wands reverse? Seven of Pentacles, again, with the timing. So I feel like this is a delayed success, delayed victory for, for this person because they're waiting for something or they're anxious about the outcome. Why is the Six of Wands reverse? Yeah, the hangman. Now, this person is not taking the action needed. That's not good. You know, it's like somebody that pictures um, winning something but never enters the competition, you know? Tell me about the Ten of Cups. Tell me about the Ten of Cups, please. What do we need to know about the Ten of Cups? Wow, we have the Tower again. And the Nine of Wands. So what I'm getting here is that someone's possibly going to cause a Tower, Six of Cups. This person's probably going to cause a Tower. Um... Let's see what this tower is about. And it was, for some reason, they think this is going to give them their happy ending. Tell me about the tower over here. What do we need to know about the tower? What do we need to know about this tower spirit? The star, Aquarius energy. What do we need to know about this tower? Why is the tower here? The hermit. Wow, Virgo energy. What do we need to know about this tower? Can I get one more before I talk about what I see? Yeah, the Eight of Swords and Ten of Wands at the bottom of the deck. I feel like this person thinks they have no other choice but to cause a tower. Um, possibly because they don't see a way out of the situation unless it's like a big show or a big um, demonstration. Um, with the Hermit, I get that this person's thinking about this like on their own. Um, and all they're thinking about is how do they get this star? You know, hope, faith, healing. How do they make this happen? Their wish. Let me get one more for this tower. Um, oh, wow. There's the Ace of Swords. This could be um, communication. Tell me more about this tower. What else do we need to know about this tower spirit? What do we need to know? Eight of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, and the Knight of Cups. Yeah, this person is going to come forward, Taurus, and I feel like they're going to make like a big, um, the word is demonstration, but I know there's more than that. It's almost like they're going to be making a big, uh, yeah, Page of Cups. They're going to be making a big, uh, like, like expression of, I don't know, like, um, how do I, I don't know what the word is, but it's almost like they're, they're it's like a, an exaggerated expression of their desire. So I'm picturing like, you know, when in the movie, someone comes to the girl's house with like a boom box, you know, and the whole building or the whole neighborhood knows what's happening. It's like a public display of affection or something like that. 
I feel like this person could also just surprise you because they haven't really talked about this before what the high priest is um maybe when whatever happened between you hasn't truly been discussed there hasn't been real closure and so if when this person finally shows up you're like what are you doing here what's this all about can i get one more energy for their next intentions actions and i think in their mind you know this is this is the way to go about it i don't know if that's the right way to go about it because you know the tower I feel it's going to be almost like a shock to you. What do we need to know about their intentions? Yeah, so this person is very motivated. They're, this is like the Queen of Wands of this deck. They're motivated. They have this... I feel like they just have to take action. Like They can't sit still about this. Um, they have no idea how this is going to end up for them. I feel like in their mind, they don't know what your response will be and um maybe you cut off communication with them or something like that for them to be wondering you know what you're really thinking um or how how this is going to work but that's what i have for you and how they feel about you thank you so much for watching taurus hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you all in another video very soon take care